to the viewing room! This is the special viewing room. Okay, I, I could see on the sign. It said it, it said out there. I'm sure gentlemen such as yourself will understand. But seeing as this is a special room, not open to the general public. I must insist you all be on your best behaviour. Okay! Ah, time to run around! Yay! Screaming! Yay! <laughs> wow, this room feels so grand and elegant! I'm gonna run around and trash it! Yay! <laughs> yep, that's Luke. It's my first time in here too. I must admit, I feel a little nervous. It certainly does give some indication of the importance of the book being kept here. The book in the centre must be the grand, the OK Grimoire. Really? Is that what you've st you've deduced? Uh, uh, it's such a deduction that is uh, clearly just too radical and unconventional for anybody to really uh, accept. So there are three hint coins. I'm not entirely sure about the hint coin system anymore. Because... Obviously we've had a... Well, basically we've had a few places where the hint coins just haven't been on the map. Oh my god, I can really only find one. <laughs> I can really only find one. That's terrible. Okay, there's got to be some of these candles, right? Like, I found one candle. Maybe, maybe, okay, maybe... Alright, there's there that I somehow managed to miss. <laughs> oh, the other one's... Oh, the other one's behind you. That's why I had trouble. Okay, okay. This is uh, this is Hoogland all over again. Where I missed that one thing going. Oh well. This tome is the Grand Grimoire. Please treat it with care. Really? I'd never have guessed. Okay, so what's this going to be? This is incredible. It's crammed with information and magic. Let's rip all the pages out and take it with us, Professor. Yay! <laughs> okay, Luke. Let's do that. People say it's the magic used by the witches. If that's so, the magic we saw in London must be here somewhere too. That may well be true, Luke. That may well be true, Luke. A tome as thick as this must surely contain such information. I don't know what happened to my voice there. It's strange. Finding it's a bit daunting, though. Oh, what's this? Professor! This page is different than the others, Professor! It's a different page, Professor! It's different! It is so slanted, Professor! So slanted! What is this? This page is about magic at all, Professor! Something about it makes me feel uneasy. What's it about? Look at this page. It appears to be addressed to someone, don't you think? Oh, you mean like a message, Professor? It's a message, Professor! It's a secret message! Let's decode the secret message, Professor! Yay! Oh, calm down. From a time long ago, the ancient flame has been locked in an infinite vault of books waiting for the awakening. This is going to be the legendary fire, isn't it? When the sun and moon watching over the sage for places to show their true form, the door to the past will open. Once a person of perspicacity has fulfilled the challenge. I have perspicacity, whatever that is. The door will be opened. It's all about opening doors. Until then, I will wait for the time of the awakening. Repetition. It's clearly a prophecy of some kind. How could this be? Why is this in here? How does something like this get into the OK Grimoire? It's just not possible. I can't understand it. No one entered the special viewing room before you came here. And whenever someone enters this room, I always cover them in this way. So that means the page must have been changed at some point, doesn't it? Ellipses. Could that really be possible, Professor? First, it's a kind of device. Professor. Unthinkable. There's only one key to this room, so no one can enter without being granted my permission. I show you it's true, I'm my honour as a curator. So Riddell's number one suspect, right? <coughs> but then, how could anyone have done this? Luke, I believe we both know who might be capable of such an act. Hey? The storyteller? Oh, witches. Okay, fair enough. It's always witches. Just blame it on the witches. Yeah, yeah, it's always witches. You know, I think witches just get a bad rap. I, I, I really do. I think, I think witches just need to make their own uh, minority organization. And uh, you know, I think witches should be proud of their witchy heritage, etc., etc., etc. Witches. Ellipses. 
We don't know yet who changed that page, but the more important matter is what's written here. The infinite vault of books mentioned here presumably refers to the OK Archive, which implies there is a secret of some sort hidden within the library. Professor, what about this part? A person of purse, 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 a person made of perspex. Well, I believe that could be referring to Carmine. He came in regularly to investigate. So it's certainly somewhat likely. Which means our next objective is to find the answer that he was looking for. It's a bit of a spooky message. But if we can open these doors to the past, then we'll surely be one step closer to solving this mystery. We sure will, Luke. We sure will. You just, you just stay there with your uh, hand held high. Just a moment, please. I'm the curator here. Luke's suddenly gone from happy to sad. Oh, So sad. I don't know why I'm focusing on Luke's expression so much. He's very expressionate. <laughs> and I won't be allowing you to investigate anything without my permission. So you mean we can't investigate? Not at all. I still insist you allow, have to allow me to accompany you. There should be no doors in this library that I don't know about. And even if there is something hidden somewhere that's just about this message. It's my duty to create to know what that is. I completely understand Miss Pister. We can only benefit from your presence. Now then, how about we all make our way to the back of the entrance? Let's think about where this door could be from there. Okay, so I've got to explore the Grey's Archive. Oh, so well, the OK Archive. But Professor, suppose there is a door, Professor! The message is such a puzzle itself, Professor! Don't you think it would be difficult to find, Professor? Professor, 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 Professor! You may be right. And this library is so large. Finding anything will surely take a good deal of our time. No, I think not. You're both missing something here. I believe I may well know what is meant by the words of the message. Hey, Really, Professor? Professor, Professor! <laughs> yes, if you'll just remember the wording. Uh, which part? <laughs> From a time long ago... Oh, we're going to replay the whole message. The Asian flame has been locked in an infinite vault of books waiting for the awakening. So we need a book about fire! When the sun and moon watching over the sage, what places to show their true form, the doors in the past will open. Blah, 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 prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. I have no freaking idea. What's supposed to post Cassie has fulfilled the challenge? The door will be opened. Until then, I will wait for the time of the awakening. So we need a person of perspex. If we both take a look around this room, you'll notice we are surrounded by books. There's probably nowhere else in the library with more books than there are right here. How do you know that? How do you know that? There are books are standing all the way up! We're completely surrounded by them! And the key to opening the door is the sun and moon watching over the sage. Okay... <laughs> but what could that mean? There are no windows, so no light can come in from the sun or the moon. Precisely, which means it's not the real sun and moon that are being referred to here. It's a metaphor! And they're located where they can watch over the sage. In other words, behind. Perhaps you've already realised to whom the sage is referring. Right then, let's find this sun and moon watching over the sage and open the door. Uh, well, I mean, we've got like a blue thing up there and an orange thing up there. I guess the orange thing could be the sun, the blue thing could be the moon. The two chandeliers, it could be those. Or there's a zoom in icon there that wasn't there before that is only slightly suspicious. Wow, that was a really useful zoom in there. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what's that? Okay. Nobody noticed this bef Okay. <laughs> I guess I didn't notice it, so I can't really talk, but still. I th I'd have thought they'd have had a little bit of a better view than I did. It's a sort of book construction. Oh! So the sage must be! That's right. The sage of this library refers to the curator. And this sort of book construction is located right behind her seat. So that's what the sudden boom watching over the sage referred to. So I need to get them to swap places, and how am I going to do that? When well, a sudden boom swap places, their true form will be shown, and the doors of the past will open. So we need to work out what that means. What does it mean by their true form? Hmm, well, if we interpret it at face value, it would suggest that we are currently seeing their untrue form. <laughs> wow, well, well, well logic there, Leighton, well logic. Have a look at this, there seems to be some sort of mechanism in place. Ah, oh, Professor! If you look closely, Professor, there seems to be a puzzle, Professor! He didn't hear, Professor! There seems to be a puzzle hidden here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Puzzle number 19, the sun and the moon. 
This puzzle's worth 30 pick rats. Okay, there are two tiles on each side. Maneuver the tiles so the sun and the moon swap tiles, swap sides. What can we act? Oh, no, no, well, whatever. <laughs> I guess it's not that bad. I'm overreacting, blah, blah, blah. I need to move things. Uh, wait, how do I do this? Okay, okay I'm going to move all those that way. <laughs> and then we need to get these out of here. And then we can start getting stuff. Oh yeah, I need to get that over there to, to like, move that over there. So yeah, I just, I just basically need to get the moon on the left and the sun on the right. And that's fine. So now we've got two pieces of the sun on the right. I need to get one more piece of the sun on the right. Uh, let's get that in there. Yeah, so that's the sun on the right. Now I need to get the, moon, the rest of the sun on the right. This is a whole thing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hold on, right. And now all we need to do is line them up, right? That's um, totally easy. What are you talking about? So there's that. There's that. I need to put that in there, and then there. There we go. Done. Easy, right? Yay! I've already seen the answer. Victoro. Come what may, puzzles are God, this chapter's kind of long. <laughs> the chapters in this game seem kind of long. I don't know how many there are. That's a lie. I looked up how many there are. There are nine. Okay. <laughs> now we got that out of the way. <laughs> a little while, they were blatantly live. Success! The mystery library puzzle is solved. Which is what will happen next. <laughs> how shocking! It's even taking the carpet with it. So there must have been seams running right through that rug that nobody happened to notice. Oh, Professor, there's a stairway! There's a stairway, Professor! There's a stairway! Who would have thought there could be anything like this in here? The Asian flame has been locked in infinite vaults of books. I wonder just what we'll find down here. Fire! An entrance to a basement below the Great Archive. I'm right in thinking that you do nothing of the stairway's existence. That's right, and if I, as the curator, knew nothing of it, then surely no one else could. It's hard to believe that a secret such as this could have been hidden here all this time. Who could have possibly left such a message? Ellipses! Ellipses could have left such a message. Carmine, maybe? Witches? Carmine, witches? Patchouli? Uh, or it could have always been there. Hmm, it might not be wise to it might be wise to not let anyone see what has been revealed here. I agree, I'll be back as soon as I've asked the other visitors to leave the building. <laughs> Walking right past the trap door. <laughs> well then you're both ready. You betcha, let's go, Professor! You too, Isbella! Okay then, okay okay then, Luke. Let's go! A new a new thing he's been out to the map. Oh yeah, I can see the map, can't I? I guess I can. So that's the great viewing room. We got three out of three hit coins. This is the great archive. We've got three out of three. There's been no hidden puzzle so far. None at all. It has been zero to zero every single time. I think it should just be like total puzzles or something, maybe. I don't know. This place appears to be some sort of historic site. It's amazing to think a place like this could exist in the library. I wonder where it dates from. Yep, there's the picture of the legendary fire. Legendary! Ah! That mural! It can't be! Sure it can't. Oh, it's a dragon! Oh, we got dragons in this game now! Oh, fantastic! I love dragons. Man, dragons are pretty awesome. Except to fight. They're not, they're not the greatest things to fight. I'll, I'll be the first one to admit that. But uh, yeah, we got dragons! Yay! Everyone needs dragons. Everybody needs a dragon. Okay, that's all I think I'm going to get. Should we talk to you, Riddell? I don't know what you exactly will have to talk about. This war place is a bit scary, isn't it? A monster attack in a burning town. There's also a woman hurling fire. I suppose she must be a witch. That's going to be Estella. That's going to be Estella. I'm calling it now. That's going to be Estella. I'm calling it now. That woman is the great witch. Miss Mister. This certainly doesn't bode well. A painting of the great witch here. Do you know anything about the witch in this painting? You don't know the Great Witch? But how can that be possible for a man of your learning? 
Well, that's... Never mind. I'm sure you must have your reasons. I don't wish to pry. I appreciate that. Would you mind perhaps telling us a bit about this witch? Hello, Okie dokie. What are we going to learn now? The woman in this painting, it is the Great Witch Bazella. Bazella. Bazinga! The Great Witch Bazinga! Yes! <laughs> How could she hit the back of the head if she's holding it back freaking handed? I d Is everybody in this courtroom a moron? <sighs> Calm down. 